Hello. Oh, you must be the lovely boy that helped Agnes with her shopping. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you sure finished that quickly. Yeah, very tasty. Are you sure you're not part Swedish? Yeah, I'm sure. Anyway, take care. See ya. I really want to thank you. You've really turned things around for Agnes. All her medical worries are gone. She's vibrant, bubbly, happy. You've even made her knees better. I made her knees better? My favourite boy! She's just a different person. No worries in the world thanks to your kindness. It's all because you're kind enough to eat her food. It's as simple as that. She loves cooking for people. Ever since Enrico died, she lost purpose. Thanks to you, she's found her purpose again. For you. She says she sees her husband in your eyes. Enrico's spirit lives in you. What happened? She thinks I'm her fucking dead husband reincarnated! Get this pot out of my house! Okay, can I just stay here to fucking think about it? No! Get it out! Okay, look. Maybe I can persuade her to start making me something else that's Swedish, like Swedish meatballs. Swedish meatballs? Yeah, Ikea have them. People go there just for their food. Have you been? Why the fuck would I go to a furniture store for food? Why? What am I supposed to do with it? I don't care. It's not staying here. Why can't you help me? Why are you always so unhelpful? Because you're a fucking idiot. That's why. No, I'm not. I'm doing the right thing. I've cured all her sicknesses. I'm being charitable. You charitable? You don't have a charitable bone in your body. You're the opposite of charitable. All you do is cause misery and pain to people. Wow. Get it out! Okay, fine. Where are you going? I'm gonna feed them to the seagulls. See? That's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs>